Yeah. Uh, coming. Right now, unfortunately, where I am, we have a blackout. I don't know if it has affected uh, most of the people that will be waiting for to join in this live broadcast, but uh, you're very much welcome, right? Thank you very much, sir. Good. So probably you can let me know, how did you get to know about uh, this event? Uh, uh, I just uh, came to learn about it on the internet. I was trying to go through my mails and uh, doing some uh, browsing. Uh. Yes. Uh, that is when I came across it. Uh. Ah, that is good, that is good. Yeah. So you're very much welcome. I can see uh, one more person uh, coming in, uh, joining us as we wait. Maya, how are you? I think I'll just have to unmute you. Hi, Maya, how are you? Hope you can hear me, Maya. I'm looking forward to know where are you joining me from, Maya? I'm joining from uh, High Rise. High Rise. Yes. Ah, Karibu Sarah Maya. This is great. Thank you. Uh, we just be waiting for a few more people to join us. Probably okay. might, yeah. So how did you get to know about uh, this uh, live event? Mm, um, I, I, was, I was introduced by a friend and I've been, I think I, I've been receiving most of your emails. Ah, that is good, I really appreciate it. I think, um, Quite some problem. Probably you might not be able to see me clearly from where I am. We have a blackout, and uh, I'm trying to see. I don't know how long uh, my laptop will be able to hold us before the power comes back. But anyway, uh, we will try to get on with it, and I'll take this opportunity to give you as much value as possible. So welcome. I really appreciate you taking your time and joining me with this okay. uh, live. So what I'm going to do as I wait, I want to put on some uh, measures here so that we can get started right away and uh, give you as much as possible so that by the end of this session, actually you can go out there very confident that you can get to this, I'm calling a six figure salary with no doubt and be valuable in the marketplace. That's right. Yes. Yeah. Uh, good. I can see also there's a gentleman called Peter joining us. I would also want to know probably where he's joining us from. Once his audio is connected, I think then we'll just get started. But it's always an honor to come to you this, uh, in the evening or wherever you are at your home and give you too much value. I think the fact that we are in this crisis, it has enabled us to be able to find out different ways to reach out and um, to serve you from wherever you are. Thank you very much for joining us. I can see, is it Daniel? Hi, Daniel. I think he's connecting uh, his audio. Welcome to the session, Bernard Daniel, how are you doing? Let us know where are you joining us from? Daniel Kichoto. Hello. Hey, Daniel, you can hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Hopefully you can hear me. I will put the uh, chat uh, open. So if you find that if you have a question in the middle of the presentation, please let me know. Uh, just drop it in the chat. It is public, so you will be able to. You can be able to send me a chat privately if you have a private question you want to ask. But if you want a chat that can be seen by everyone, uh, yes, then you can easily put it out uh, there. I think I've finished up with the setup. Daniel, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Ah, where are you joining us from? From Nairobi, don't know. Okay, I think the sound is a little bit low, but uh, Sandy Sana, we're just getting started right away. I think for now, I will have to uh, just mute you guys so that I can start off with the presentation and see the best that we can do. I'll also switch off uh, my camera so that you can be able to focus more on the presentation. So this evening, I'm here to, this is a great opportunity to come through to where you are to share with you how to get a six-figure salary, even 
without a degree. I'm not saying a degree is bad or master's is bad, but if you don't have it, that should not stop you from moving on. Now, my guess for you, uh, lots of you, this is not your first seminar or training that you are attending. The first thing that I want to mention is that if you have failed to earn more money in the past, it is not your fault. There's a lot of information out there and if uh, it causes confusion, many times this information overload is what keeps you away from succeeding and it is okay. If you have been concerned in the past that you just cannot succeed in employment, I want to put those fears to rest. You just need the right person to explain it to you. The other issue is the society has perpetrated the message that you need to be an entrepreneur for you to be successful. As a matter of fact, most people are better off as employees. They are most satisfied and have higher productivity when they are employees. The big corporation, the education system, and the government want you to think that you need some fancy college degree to be successful. I am here to tell you they are wrong. They have their own reasons for wanting you to think that, but it is not true. If you have ever thought that the government and the education system actually wants you to fail, probably you might be right. They don't benefit from you succeeding. They want to keep you in debt and in need. The difference with us is that we actually care about your success and truly want to see you living the life of your dreams. So that is why we are here. I know you have that dream job, that which gives you the highest satisfaction and will be able to utilize your full potential. I want to show you how to make this happen to you during this training session. I want you just to close your eyes and imagine that you go for an interview and at the end of the interview, the hiring manager tells you, you are hired. You're getting started with the work and one month down the line when you receive your pay slip, it looks something like this, like you have your basic salary is 180,000, house allowance 50,000, medical allowance 25,000, and commuting allowance 15,000, totaling all to 270. Something like this, it is truly possible for each and every one of us. So my question to you, I want to interact with you just a bit and ask you, what does a six-figure salary mean to you? Like, when you think about a six-figure salary, what comes to your mind? I would want to probably just interact with you for a minute and uh, you can use the chat, let me know. What does a six-figure salary mean to you? So um, I want this to be a very uh, interactive session. So you can chat, let me know. Some people have asked in, in uh, the past, some told me about financial freedom, some told me about educating their kids, some about lifestyle, buying a house, probably investing more, back to the community and such stuff. So I would want you to probably just share with me what are the six figure salary mean to you? Yeah, I will be reading some of the charts as we go by, but as we move on, this training is specifically for two types of people. Number one, I am looking forward to serve a professional who feels like the lack of a degree is the hindrance to their career progression. If that is you, you feel like the fact that you don't have a degree, that is the hindrance to your career progression, this is for you. And the second kind of person that this will be beneficial to is someone who, with or without a degree, you're still feeling stuck in your career. This session, the next 45 minutes or so, is going to be of much value to you. So my goal is to show you that the only way to get this six-figure salary is through acquiring what I call badass pro skills. And the only way you can get these badass pro skills is through a program I call Badass Pro program, and I'll be sharing with you more about that. I want to give you a brief um, introduction of who I am and how I ended up here. Um, yes, so I can see Max will tell you about a six digit salary. Yes, I, my question was, what does that mean to you? You know, a six digit salary starts from around 100,000 all the way to 1 million minus 1 bomb. So that is 999,999. And there's some people who actually earn that kind of 
uh, income. So what does it really mean to you? So my name is Daniel Mutuku. I am the founder of Career Phone Solutions. 10 years ago, as we started this company, I have been privileged to work as a recruitment officer. I have worked also as a career advisor and personal and professional development coach. On top of that, I'm a certified digital marketer by Google and among mem other membership that I'm, or other associations that I'm a member of, I'm a member of the League of Young Professionals. On top of that, I am author of three books. The first one is called How to Easily Use Profit, uh, Facebook for Profit. I also wrote another one called The Blueprint for Success, Guaranteed Step. Yeah, this is Blueprint for Success, Guaranteed Steps to Achieving Anything. And at the beginning of this year, I also sent out a new book called How to Conquer the Year 2020 and Make It Your Best Year Ever. So I want to give you an opportunity to get a free copy of this. It's like a booklet that you use to plan your year. I know we are in April, almost getting to May, but this is not uh, to stop you from still getting in and planning the rest of the year. I know the first third is over. So for you to get this book for free, after this session, go to YouTube, just search Daniel Mutuku. You will find my channel. Once you see a video with this um, image here, it's a very short video, about one minute or so, giving you instruction on how you can download this book for free. Among some of the highly paid people, very successful individuals here in Kenya, without a degree and they are earning a big time. This is just a short, um, a quick preview about him. Number one is the late Bob Coleman. He was the CEO of the first, most profitable company in Eastern Central Africa for several years. And still at the CEO level, he didn't have a degree. Another person who does, doesn't have a degree and still making a lot of money is Maina Kageni. He's a very vocal and well-known media personality. He doesn't have a degree, if you don't know, and is still earning a lot of money. The likes of Jalango, the likes of Churchill, still my, uh, making a lot of money, even without a degree. However, you realize that this is just the tip of the iceberg. These are just the few people that are in the limelight, but we have thousands and thousands in the different working places, still without a degree or master and still earning a lot. So I will coming you to this session where you'll be able to learn how do you get to that level. I started off my journey. I think uh, if I share with you how I was able to get to this point where I am talking about career point solution and earning a six figure. I started my journey looking for a job way back in 20, 2009. That was just after my schooling. And it was quite difficult getting a job. I applied for so many jobs. I would send out as many applications as I can. And I know some people right now, even you might be in the audience and you also probably in that space where you are sending out as so many applications and you're not getting any responses. So come, uh, he said that it takes about 10, about two, three years for a fresh graduate from college, from the university to get a job. And that time really looked like a very long time. I was lucky for me, it took me about one year. And for sure that one year looked like forever. In 2010, I secured my first job where I remember that time I was working in the, I was taking the Kuru, I was invited for an interview here in Nairobi at Consolidated Bank House, that floor by, six, uh, by 8 a.m. I was supposed to be there. And as I did that interview, I prayed, I was just crossing my finger that I really, really get that job. The good thing that I was able to impress the interview, I remember the post came in a little, uh, quite late, around 10, 11. And as I followed him to his office, he just stood and asked me, can you teach? I looked him straight in the eye and I told him, yes, I can teach. Are you sure you can teach? I said, yes, I've taught before and I can teach again. And that is how I got my first job. So I became a teacher. They had a program called Computer for Schools Project, where we went, I was deployed all the way in Sierra, where we were setting up computer labs in schools, teaching teachers how to use computers for teaching and also students and how to use the computers. And I was lucky that I was able to get that job. But over the next about one and a half years, I continue looking for a better job. This was just my start point. And I continued sending out as many applications as I can. Getting sometimes, I was invited for several interviews, 
but I didn't get any of those jobs until around 2011 when I got my first real job. I can remember that time in CIA sending out this application, getting invited for an interview. And I said, this is the job that I'm looking for. This is my dream job. I cannot mess it up. I took time to create a very convincing CV that I am the right candidate. I looked through, I did my research. I called some of my previous interviewers. I sent them email asking them, why did I not get that job? I tried to figure out what really makes people get the job. And when I went for the interview, I actually got the job. And that is when I came up with this concept I call the Badass Pro Skills. And that is what I'm going to share with you this evening. This don't only work, this Badass Pro Skills don't only work for me. They also work with, uh, for other people. Probably you don't want to be a teacher, but normally this is how it works. You become, uh, you send out as many applications as possible. If you're lucky, you get invited for an interview. If the interviewers like you, then they go ahead and give you the job. And it is a game of, it's a guessing game. But with the bad pro skills, these are skills that have been tried and tested. You can predict the result, and I'm going to share with you. This happened also to a gentleman called Alex Mwendwa. This is an email I got uh, from him sending me an email telling me, thank you, I attended a career presentation last time. This Monday I was interviewed for the position of a liaison officer, Kenya Airways, and Wednesday this week I got the job. So this is a gentleman who came to one of our live trainings. I usually run some live trainings, sorry that this time our, uh, we only have the opportunity to do this live training, uh, the online one. But I was able to coach him. I was able to give him the skills. I was able to tell him what needs to be done. And he got his job at Kenya Airways. So if it worked for me, if it worked for Alex, I think it is going to also work for you. So in this session, I'm going to share with you two main secrets. I have a lot of them that I can share. But I decided this is what is going to be of much value to you. So number one, I'm going to show you how do you triumph over other qualified more qualified and experienced candidates than you. And how do you get to that point where you negotiate a six-figure salary? So, number one, how do you triumph over more qualified candidates and more experienced candidates? Just back to my story. When, uh, for me to get this second job, I remember I came from Sierra, I came to Nairobi, it was in an, an, in an international school, a highly, uh, high class, high uh, for, uh, international school. So I came there and I can remember almost word for word how that interview went. And when I left that interview, I was so confident that I have nailed that job. There was no doubt about it. So come this day when I, the next day I go back to CI and I receive a call that, hello, Mr. Daniel, we are happy to announce to you that you got that job that you are interviewing for. I was so happy. This was my dream come true. I couldn't explain it. Unfortunately, that same day in the afternoon, I received the same call, a uh, call from the same number telling me, unfortunately, we are withdrawing the job offer that we had given to you. I got a little bit confused. I asked them, why is this so? So they told me the class that they wanted to hire this teacher for was a candidate class during the first time. This was their first time doing IGCSE exams. And because I didn't have any skills, I didn't have any qualification, I didn't have any experience teaching in an international school, they wouldn't give me that job. The board would not take it. As much as I was the best interviewee, they had to give the job to the next, the person who was following me in terms of the performance in the interview because he had the skills and experience. And there, I just realized I triumphed over this more qualified and experienced candidate. So how can you also do that? There are three things that you have to do. Within the first three seconds, you get to an interview, you get to send your CV. When someone sees it, there are three things that need to come right off the bat. Number one, you need to show them that you are as sharp as a tap. This is mental acute, your clever, intelligent, your mental alertness is up to point. Within the first three seconds still, you need to show them that you are enthusiastic as hell, showing and having great excitement and interest for this opportunity, for that job, and doing that job and performing the task and bringing in the results. And within still the same 
three seconds, you should be able to show them that you are an expert, you are knowledgeable and you have the skills in that area. And once you are able to find a way to print this out within the first three seconds, I can assure you, you will be able to get that job. I've been able to show people how to do this. This is a gentleman called Brian. And he wrote me an email telling me, I am grateful for your services. I would like to give you feedback. The CV helped me get five interviews, three finance officer position and two finance officer assistant, three finance assistant position and two finance officer position. Lucky enough, I managed to secure the finance officer job and I'm starting this journey. So this is something that happened and worked for Brian and he started working this January. Here's another person called Cherry uh, Chep Kurui. He told me, he told me an email. Actually, this is this January on 14. And he told me that, uh, Daniel, thank you for always sharing how to answer question in an interview. I'm beginning, in the beginning of this year, I secured a job that I have been dreaming to be a registry officer. And now I am one. Thank you and be blessed. So this is someone who's got their dream job that they have always been looking to get another lady here called jane saying thank you guys you for writing my cv in a professional way i secured myself a job within the first month i'm happy for the results my current employer was so pleased by my cv in such a way that i cannot explain i went for four interviews and still it matched the best so you can imagine this kind of feedback this can also happen to you. It starts with the CV. It starts with the also interview coaching. How do you present yourself? And I'm going to share with you this evening how you can get that done. So probably these are some of the questions that you're having in your head. How long will it take for me to get that six-figure salary? Uh, just to tell you, this is a marketplace and you are paid for the value that you bring into the market and how valuable you are. It takes time to bring value to the market it takes time to be valuable, but unfortunately, you're not paid for the time. You're paid for the value that you bring in. So rather than asking how long it will take, I will focus more on how do I become this valuable. Probably if you can be able to get a shortcut to be valuable, the better. What about office politics? Some people are more scared about office politics, but I will show you how do you use office politics to your advantage, because I can assure you, you can't get rid of office politics. How do I convince the management? You don't need to convince anyone. It's a matter of how you play your game and start influencing people. It is said it's very hard to try and make someone change their mind. But if you are able to influence them, that is even more power. Do I need to quit my job? Probably not. You don't need to quit your job. Probably the opportunity is within the same job. But in some cases, you will have to quit. Is it possible for me? Yes, I want to tell you it is possible for me. It has worked for me. It has worked for some of the people that I've just showed you, and it is possible for you. You just need the right person to show you how to go about it. So I want to say this with a lot of conviction and let you understand that it is possible to triumph over other candidates who are more qualified and experienced than you. It is very much possible. Now, at this point, I just want to pause and ask if you might have any question based on what I've shared so far. So feel free to leave it in uh, the chat below. I'll be answering your question before I go to the second secret that I would like to share with you. So checking up here, we still have uh, Daniel is still around, Maxwell Asante Sanako hanging around, Maya. Let me ask, do you have any question that you would like uh, maybe probably based on what I've shared. Leave it in the chat. I'll be able to answer it as we proceed. And I would also want to know what are some of the light bulbs that you're getting. If you get a point, that, an insight that really just takes you over and you're like, yeah, that is me. I think that can really work for me. Please leave it also in the, com uh, in the chat. I'll be able to go through them. You have a light bulb. You can be able also to raise your hand. Down there, there is a button where you can raise your hand to stop me and I can be able to answer any of your questions. But I really appreciate you sticking through with me. Quick, how do you get to a point where you negotiate a six-figure salary? Number one, I want to say this. There was a research that was done by a group called JobBite. And in this um, research, they actually found out that 84% of salary negotiation always results to a higher 
salary pay. That means the chances of you getting into a salary negotiation for you to get a higher salary, it's very high. Chances of you getting higher pay is very high. Unfortunately, only 14% of employees negotiate their salary in their current jobs. And I wondered, why is it that a very small percentage of people will try to negotiate their salary in their current job, while it is, the statistic has it, if you try, you will be able, chances of you getting a high pay is way high. So I want to ask right now, is there any of you here who has tried to negotiate for higher salary in your current position? Daniel, have you tried to negotiate your salary in your current position? Same to Maxwell or Maya. Just in the chat, let me know. Say yes, you tried or no, you haven't. It will be very exciting to get to know that because you will be surprised that very few people, I want to do even my own survey here to see how many people have tried to negotiate for a higher salary. So moving on, the point here is anyone who is confident enough to try usually succeed. Anyone who's confident enough to try out usually succeed. So how do you go to negotiate? Tip number one, I want to let you know, you need to know the salary that you want before you get to the negotiation table. You will be surprised how many people, even during an interview, when getting started with a new job, when it gets to the question of salary, they really don't know how much they need. You really need to be very clear in your mind. My salary expectation is 100,000, is 150, it is 200,000. And be very confident about it. This figure don't just come around, uh, it. it is based on your value. What are you worth? What is the value that you bring in? I am valuable, I am bringing in services, and I worth 200,000 in terms of salary at the end of the month. You should be that confident. Number two, you should be able to make the company realize your value. Most of us know our value, but we don't make it very clear to the company what is our value. You might be surprised that you think that everyone knows your value, but you need to be able to articulate it very clearly and let them know what is your worthwhile, what is your meaningful contribution, what is it that you're bringing onto the table. So you should be very clear on that. And thirdly, you should use comparables to justify your salary. There are some tools and I would going to share with you that you can use as comparables. Do you know what is the average payment in your industry for such a position? Do you know how much um, the other person is being paid in another company? So that when you use it as comparable, you have a higher chance of getting a better salary. So that is very important when you are negotiating for a good salary. I can see here, uh, Mr. Marco said, my job is so involving that I go to class. The uh, big challenge with a lot of uh, nepotism, please get a, getting a new job is a challenge. What is the best way to get without going to class? I am, that, that is why we are here. You don't actually need to go to class. You need to add your value, which is very important, but Going to class, the traditional education system does not really equip you to be able to be valuable. And I'm going to share with you how is it. I can see Mara saying, I have wanted, but facing my boss is difficult. You probably are feeling not very much justified to approach your boss to be able to negotiate your salary. But I can assure you, if you're confident enough to go and present to your boss, this is the value I'm bringing in, and you open up a window for negotiation. It's way much better rather than uh, what I've seen most people do it, and I hope that is not what you're doing. You want to go and just negotiate salary because it is good to have a higher salary, or some other people have gotten a uh, higher salary, or because I've stayed in this company for very long. Those kind of uh, approach don't really give any value, but if you come from a Point of view where this is the value I'm bringing in, this is my worldwide, this is my meaningful contribution, then you can open up that window and have the discussion and negotiate and it will always end up positive. Now, I want you to look at these two uh, emails that I got. This one is uh, from a gentleman called 
Julius. Julius sent me an email telling me, greetings this evening. I'm writing to appreciate you, your work. It is barely two months after I used your reviewed CV. I'm glad that I have landed two jobs. I have started the one I prefer. I have taken the one I prefer. I am working towards completing my course, monetary evaluation. That is a course that we offer. Career Point Solutions, you are the best. Now, just hold that in your mind and look at this other email from a gentleman called uh, Lawrence Apiambo Ojuan. He tells me, I am happy to inform you that after you guys reviewed my CV, I received three different calls for interviews within a span of 24 hours. Within a span of one, uh, within a span of one week, I attended all the interviews, and fortunate enough, I secured all the three jobs. This was after a pregnant search for a job for one whole year. I only had a difficult task choosing which one to go for, but fortunate enough, I opted for one and politely and professionally declined the other two. So my question to you is: If you get an opportunity whereby you are able, you get more than two. Uh, opportunities. You go for an interview, you get two or more job offers. And you have to decide which one to go for. I want you to tell me what would be one of the criteria that you will use to decide which one to go for. This one I actually want to wait and hear your contribution in this case. When you get two or more job offers and at some point you have to decide which job you'll go for. What is one of the criteria key criteria you will use to decide which one to go for. I would really want to know that as I go through also some of the uh, chapter here, please let me know what criteria will you use to decide which one to go for. Daniel, you're saying currently the organization where I work is not easy to negotiate your salary since we are paid according to the rank uh, you have obtained. So my question would be, how do you go up the ranks? What makes the difference between the uh, ranks? But I really appreciate that. Yeah, there are some organizations that have ranks or there is the hierarchy. But you, uh, as I'll share with you, how do you get into that hierarchy? How do you position yourself in the succession plan so that you are more valuable and you actually end up getting those ranks? Maxwell saying, I'm valued at uh, my workplace but feel strange with the uh, overtime covering three countries with less pay, seeming my employer knows what uh, there are many unemployed youth, but there is, but there he can hire cheaply. Now, let me tell you, a company that really knows the value of an employee, they will not end up just hiring anyone cheaply because a uh, cheap, uh, let me say just, um, just hiring any youth because they are employed is a very big risk for the employer in terms of how much value are you sure that this person is going to bring on board. But I totally feel you, I get you. Sometimes it can really get um, frustrating when you have work, there's a lot of work and you're not really appreciated uh, for the work that you're doing. But looking out for other opportunities out there might just make the whole difference. So I was asking, when you get like this gentleman here got two job offers and he had to opt for one, and this person here got three job offers and he had to opt for one. What do you think would be the criteria if it were you that you have to decide which one to go for and which one to leave? I'll be waiting to hear from you. So I'm saying this, it is possible to negotiate for a higher salary and get it. It is very much possible. You are probably thinking, these are some of the questions that I'm uh, thinking you have in your head. How do I network with the right people? For you to grow, for you to get the right position, especially if you're very valuable and you are bringing a lot of value, getting the right people is very important. According to LinkedIn, it takes 85% of these high paying jobs are gotten through networking. So the question is, do you know the right people? How do you network with the right people? I'll give you a solution for that. What matters most? Is it experience or qualification? I can tell you without a doubt, it is neither here nor there. It is the value. Is it? Are you getting the value that you're bringing in from your experience, which is more valuable, sometimes even past the qualification? Sometimes you might be able to bring in the value from qualification. But as I mentioned as we start, um, education system does not really focus on 
adding value to an individual. How do I balance my work and personal life? When you get to this position, you realize that there's a lot that is demanded from you, just as Maxwell is sharing that there's a lot of work moving over stretch over time in three countries. But I'll share with you how you can be able to balance that with your work. Am I too young or am I too old? This is neither here. I can tell you, you can use your age as leverage if you're too young that is an advantage if you're too old you can you still use it as your an advantage look here this is a gentleman called um bill shan he sent me an email um this week actually this month yeah you can see here it is fifth of april on sunday he still be he told me i recently landed my first consultancy job with a few kenya after heading to your well laid out beautiful friendly advice so from my own assumption is that probably he is older than me, but he felt my youthful advice that I gave still worked for him and he was able to get that consultancy job. How do I measure and track my progress? I'll share with you tools and, and that you can be able to use to make sure that you're moving in the right direction that will track your progress and give you some checkpoints to know if you're doing it right. As I said earlier, how do I fix myself to the succession plan? I think it was coming from Daniel Wu's talk that they have ranks, but this is just a succession plan and I can show you how you can easily penetrate into these ranks and even be part of that succession plan. What are the qualities of a person with a six, who is worth six figure? There are, I tell you, success leaves clues and you can find that there are certain qualities that are there out there people who are even worth more and if you can be able to portray these qualities the better for you how do i get started that is why we're here i want to share with you how you can be able to get started right away now it is possible to get even a job with this current situation look at this email uh this is a whatsapp actually chat i got from a lady called rehab yeah she sent it quite late in the evening and she says hello i hope you're doing well i'm texting you this late um Sorry, I'm texting you this late. I want to thank you so much for editing my CV. I have gotten a job despite these tough moments of COVID-19. Thank you so much for the free training you sacrifice, you sacrifice for. Many thanks. God bless you. So it is possible even in these difficult times to get a job. You see, my name is Rehab. I'm the project monitoring course. Okay. Oh, she did a project monitoring course with us. So I want to ask, uh, as we finish up, I think we're almost about to get to the end of this. I don't want to take much time. Uh, I want to ask this question. If I show you exactly how you can get your dream job, do you think it is possible to get to that six figure salary? Do you think it is possible? Please leave it in the comment. I'll appreciate as I read through some of the questions here. There is a comment. Maxwell saying, one with better working condition, i.e. with room for growth. Also, this is what will be the criteria that you decide if you want to go to the next level. Yeah, I think this is very important. Look for good medical cover, uh, able to acknowledge and recognize employees. Yeah, I think, so that is good. I think, and what you're saying here, when you're looking about good growth opportunities, as uh, an opportunity where you have the medical cover and you have met. Of course, it's about the package, it's about the salary. And I can assure you, when you have two or three more offers, you can actually play these employers one to the other. Say, this is the offer I'm getting here. If I would like to work here, better the offer I will be coming. And it can work magic. So thank you. So let's move on. And um, yeah, I can see Maxwell saying yes. It is possible. Yeah, I think it is possible. Welcome. So moving on, I want to say for the next, I can see um, we are like 40 minutes in. For the next 10 minutes or so, is it okay for me to share with you about this program called the Badass Pro? Because this Badass Pro program, where you define your own destiny, can really move you now to the next level. So I just want to ask before we close, is it okay for me to take a bit, uh, a minute or so just to share with you about the Badass Pro. So please leave a comment, just say yes, and I'll be able to share with you about this program called the Badass Pro. 
I'll be waiting. So I can see here Daniel saying definitely on the effort of the job, I'll consider the way salary and how to how each job aligns with my goals in the long future. Ah, that is correct. You try and see the weight salary. How does it play with where you're getting? I can see Maxwell saying, yes, you can share about the Badass Pro. So is Daniel. I think there are two more people here I really, really want to hear. Uh, Maya, is it okay for me to share with you about this Badass Pro? So just leave it in the chat. But so what is the Badass Pro? Badass Pro is an acronym and the Badass stands for an individual who is bold, very courageous in the sense that they speak out their mind. They are very authentic. They don't just uh, fake it till they make it, but they are very authentic in terms of the value that you're bringing in. They are self-driven, someone who does not need to be supervised. They just bring in the value. Someone who is very aggressive, someone who is skilled, and at the same time, someone who is self-assured. They are very confident of themselves, of their skills, and the value that you're bringing in. So in this program, we try to build up an individual who is bold, authentic, driven, aggressive, skilled, and self-assured. The bottom line is here, is for you to get to this bigger salary, you need to be very confident, very aggressive, and competitive at the same time. So how do you get to start off with the Badass Pro program? Well, if you decide today, you want to join this program called the Badass Pro. Number one, what I'm assuring you, you will get a six weeks coaching, which is valued at about 100,000. This Badass Pro six week coaching program, I will be able to take you through these six main stuff. Like in the first week, we'll talk about how do you get started? How do you, uh, the second week we'll look at how do you know your worth? How much should you be paid right now? And what are some of the things that you can do to increase your value? Week three, we'll talk about building confidence and competence. Week four, we'll talk about mastering communication, influence and networking. Remember I told you networking is very key. Then I'll share with you in week five, some of the tools that you can use to track and evaluate your progress. And finally, we'll get to that point where we teach you the real skills in terms of salary negotiation for your personally for your case, your job, your skills, and how you can be able to value the money. On top of this, you will get one of our professional certification courses. And one of these certification, it is at a value of 100,000. So, so far, if you join the program, you will get something valued at about 200,000. I'm not saying this is what you're going to pay to get into the program, but the amount of value. So we have four main professional certification courses that we offer here at Career Point Solution. We have project management, project monitoring and evaluation. We have strategic management and leadership. We have fundraising and resource mobilization. These four courses, you can pick one of them and run away with it. They are online courses. I remember Maxwell asking, do I need to go back to class? No, with the possibility of doing online courses and online certi uh, certification, you improve your chances of getting a job way in a very high way. On top of that, you get now the six weeks coaching, you get one of the certification masterclass, you get professional CV writing. Remember we said CVs are very important. Most of us just have a documentation of where we went to school, where we have worked, the responsibilities and the list of our reference. However, you need to have a professional CV that you use to market yourself. And you need to be very clear on what is it that you're selling. You're selling your skills, abilities, qualification, and experience to the employer. So how you lay this information out is very important. It is said it takes about six seconds for a hiring manager to decide if they're going to read through your CV or not. If you look at this CV of a gentleman called Daniel Motoku, male, Kenyan, married, like this, do you need six seconds to go through? And I want to ask you, what can this guy do? When you see such a CV, as a hiring manager, you always ask yourself, what can this person do? From this information, you cannot tell what this person can do. We give them a benefit of doubt. We decide to scroll through to this point, which is called the uh, career objective. Most of us have this part in our series and the I've collected several of them. So this is just uh, from random CVs that I've been receiving, probably one of your CV. And it's, uh, these are some of the statements that I see. I'm seeking employment with a 
company where I can grow professionally and personally. Actually, this statement is very selfish. Instead of telling the player what you're bringing on board, you're telling them what you want to gain from them. And they are always asking, what can this person do? Another statement I see very frequently, I seek challenging opportunities where I can grow fully my skills and success for the organization. I want to succeed in a stimulus and challenging environment that will provide me with a planted opportunity. Again, being selfish, I want to excel in this field with hard work, perseverance, and hard work. Again, good wordings, but they don't say anything. So it is important to get rid of this and have a personal branding statement on your CV. So the CV writing value is about 3,000. You get it in the program. You also get what we call sample cover letters, value at two, uh, 2,000. So a cover letter is a very customized application letter for a position. So I just picked at random an accountant job and some of the responsibility of this accountant in this company will be reviewing and establishing proper accounting system. They support budget and focusing activities. Last thing with internal and external auditor. Somewhere in your cover letter, you should have a statement that reads something like, I have the ability to review and establish proper accounting system. In my previous employment, I was involved in liaising with internal and external auditors. So you see that when you read this statement here, it looks like this is the person that we are looking for. So it is important for you to know how to write a cover letter. So we'll have that for you. In addition to that, when you join the program, you will get a LinkedIn profile guide valued at about 200,000, uh, 200, uh, 2,500. So far, the value you're going to get is about 207,500. And it is important for you to have an optimized profile on LinkedIn. Why am I saying this? With a professional CV, this is a CV that is living in your computer, in your flash disk, in your phone. But a LinkedIn profile is a living CV that keeps on working for you even when you're asleep. I have had people who, somebody searched their profile on LinkedIn, they liked what they saw, and they got hired straight away. Organization, international organization, NGOs, development job, they are advertising on LinkedIn, and all you need to do is just to click a button, send your profile there, you don't need to send your CV, and you get a job. So in this day and age, it is important to have a very professional profile on LinkedIn. On top of that, you also get interview coaching. And when I talk about interview coaching, you need to think about some of the questions that you're going to be asked in an interview. The most important thing when it comes to interviews is being confident and knowing what is the purpose of a question for you to be able to provide the appropriate answer. So far, you can see the value that you're getting from the whole program is about 210 thousand in terms of budget. But of course, that is not what I'm going to charge you. I want to give you a very great offer you get. But I want to ask, first of all, are you ready to become a badass pro? Are you ready to become a bold, authentic, driven, aggressive, skilled, and self-assured individual? If so, leave it in the chat. Just say, yes, I'm ready to be a badass pro. And I also want to ask, if this program was just to move you to that point where you get a six-figure salary, do you think it will be worth it? If the only thing you get, if you join the Badass School program, is just to get that point where you get that six-figure salary, do you think it is worth it? If so, let me know. So, as I was trying to price for this program, I had two choices, yeah? Uh, but before I even go to talk about the two choices, I want to know in the chat, let's have, um, chat just for a while. I want to ask, if this program was just to get you to that six-figure salary, do you think it is going to be worth it? Leave it in the chat, I want to see. I can see here, Maxwell saying yes, sir. I think he has that one from the first question. I can also see Daniel say yes. I can see Maya say, I would choose one with room for growth and better employee benefits. So, okay, I think that was the quest, uh, answer to the previous uh, question. Thank you very much, Maya. Yeah, I can see Maya saying you're ready to become a badass pro. Maxwell, you're ready to become a badass pro, but we will it give a breakdown of the fee. Yes, I'm going to do that shortly. I'm just going to uh, show you how much it's going to cost. I think this is good enough. Let's get started. I have two choices. I had two choices when I was trying to set the price for this program. Number one, I would go very cheap 
and get as many people as possible. Or I would ask you to for a slightly higher investment so that I can be able to dedicate more time and efforts to guarantee your success. And I went with the second option. So I am giving you this program, everything, a six-week coaching program, certification, masterclass, uh, the CV writing, sample cover letter, LinkedIn, and the interview coaching for only 19999 and for you to get started, you don't need actually to pay the whole amount. All you need to start with is to pay at least 9999 through the TIL number 7157. So that is all you need. And this is a time that we are opening this offer and it's going to run up to Sunday. So on Sunday, which will be Sunday that midnight, at least make sure you have made your deposit or your commitment through the till number 715732. The good thing is that there's absolutely no excuse for you not to get started because there's a 100% money back guarantee. If we don't deliver on what we have said within 30 days or so, request for your money back and we will give it back to you. Now, I want to tell you, you have two choices. Right now, you the first option that you have is decide to do nothing and not take this leap of faith, which is 100% risk-free. Or the second option is to take up this small investment compared to the value that you're going to get in return. I want to ask you, which option will be easier for you? I have tried to share this with so many people. Yeah, which one is going to be easier for you out of these two options? It takes, it is uh, from research, it has been said, it takes about 24 hours. Based on what I have shared with you, if you don't take action in anything that I've just shared, you have about 24 hours. And after that, chances of you taking action is very low. I'm not talking about just signing up for the Badass Pro program. Any highlight, any insight that has really touched you in my conversation this evening, if you don't act on it within the next 24 hours, chances of you taking action later will be very low. So you better start doing something about it now. Right now, it's about 8.25. Tomorrow evening at 8.25. Will you have done something about it? I've come to learn there are two types of people. The first kind of person, those are, uh, these are people who get an opportunity to change their lives. They agree with everything that I've shared and you can, they can actually see how this is applicable in their lives and they do nothing. While the second type of person is someone who chooses to take action and define their own destiny. My question to you today, before I leave this session, which type are you? So, if you want to get in touch with me, my email address is daniel at careerpoint.co.ke. If you want to get uh, more information about the Badass Pro program, you can go to www.careerpoint.co.ke forward slash badass. And I have a very special offer for you guys who are here. And this will only be for anyone who decides to take action right now. I can see Daniel saying, yes, he's ready to become a badass pro. If you decide to make payment within the next 30 minutes or so before we close, uh, normally we close at about nine, but I can see today we have tried to do quite fast because as I told you, we have a blackout where I am. If you take action right now and pay the 50% or make your commitment tonight during this live session, you will get the six weeks coaching and you will get all the four certification courses. These are, NG, uh, you will get project management, project monitoring evaluation, strategic management and leadership, and fundraising and resource mobilization. You get all these courses right away if you take action right now. I have the TIL number, I'll be waiting for you to make at least the payment, and I'll say, yes, you get this offer. So anyone who is able to make this payment right now, Linden, as we are live here, you have about 15 minutes or so, you will be able to get all the four certification courses. And on top of that, I want even to make it much better for you. You will be able to get a t-shirt clearly written, I am a badass pro. I have mine. Let me see if I can switch on my camera. So you get a t-shirt, badass pro, and you also get a notebook, the badass pro notebook. Yeah? 
Uh, let me see. I don't know if you can see. If you can see the notebook, if you can see the t-shirt, the banner school. These are some of the students that have gone through the program. This is Nancy all the way in Kitui. This is um, Willie here in Nairobi. This is Faith in Nairobi. This is Francis. This is Willie all the way in, I think she was in Bungoma. Yes, Eunice. This is, uh, this is me. You get yourself a t-shirt, you get yourself a notebook, and I can't wait for you to get started. So at this point, I'll just say, it is your great opportunity to start off this program. So the best investment you can ever have is to invest in yourself. This is a note from Warren Buffett. And when you invest in yourself, it is said that you will get, for every shilling you invest in yourself today, it will return 30 shillings over time. That is a 3,000% return on investment. I want to ask you right now, where in the stock market, the stock market real estate, or wherever, where is it that you will go, invest and get a 3,000% return on investment? I came to learn about this rule called the 10-10 rule from Brian Tracy. And it says, from our society, we are told to take 10% and tithe it to help other people. Use that 10% to help other people. And I'm putting to you, why not take another 10% and use it to help yourself? Invest in yourself because that is where you're going to get the highest return in investment. So I'm asking you, if you're here live with me, this is an um, offer for only people who are able to take a step right now, make a deposit at least 50%, do the till number 7157. Uh, 715732. Make the payment, send me uh, that chat right now, and I'll be able to sign you up to the Badass Pro program. You will be able to get yourself a t shirt, you'll be able to get yourself the notebook clearly saying that I am a Badass Pro. This is just a sample of the certificate that you will get, like this one is for monitoring and evaluation. And the one is even more important because it talks about you have been formally evaluated and assessed for demonstrating knowledge and skills, because this is the value that you will be bringing in on board. So I will pause it for now, and I want to take any question from any one of you. I know I had um, put you on mute, if it is possible. Yes, everyone now is unmuted. You can leave a question in the chat, or we can go live and have any question. So hope guys, how would uh, you really got value out of this session? So I want to ask, just in the chat or live here, let me know, what is the one key takeaway that you have taken from this session? So I'll be waiting at least uh, to hear from you, Daniel, Maxwell, and Maya. What is one of the key takeaways that you have gotten from this session? Who is ready to go? Yes. I'm waiting at least for your feedback before we close it and uh, call it a day. Just reminding you that if you're able to take action right now, this is a quite unique offer. You will not get this any other day. You're able to get all the four certification. You get the six weeks coaching, professional CV writing, sample cover letter, LinkedIn profile guide, and all that. So as I close up again uh, for this session, I want to say that I really appreciate you taking your time joining me this live broadcast. If you have any question, I had shared my email address. I just want to wait to get feedback from you. What value have you gotten from this session? Then we can call it a day. Remember, if you are not in a position to make the deposit right now, however, the offer for the program runs up to Sunday midnight because we will start off with the coaching, we will start off with the program, this Badass Pro program come Monday. So you better be ready. So let me just uh, respond to a chat here. You. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Okay, I think there's someone who we are chatting. So this is uh, Maxwell, what is your key takeaway? I'll be waiting to hear from you. 